way you waddle up to it. <laughs> Come on! This is Chad. Chad seems to have a sick life. He's liked by most people, he lives in a good part of the world, and he has great opportunities every single day. But Chad ruthlessly cares what everyone thinks of him all the time. So he cannot ever feel truly comfortable in himself. Most people let the opinions of others decide how they live their lives. And that shit scares me because over a long period of time, that way of life evolves into an inauthentic, low quality existence. You can probably relate to Chad. And for that reason, I'm going to take you on a journey so you can care less and live more. Firstly, I don't have all the answers. I'm just a dude that's trying to grow and improve himself and care a bit less too. So by the end of this video, I'm going to be challenging myself, leaving my comfort zone and exposing myself to other people's opinions in public. But before we do that, it's important that we establish the essential mindset that is required to care less what other people think of you. And I think that mindset can be broken down into three parts. Number one, you have to learn to be okay with not being okay. Or more specifically, you have to understand that there are always gonna be people that don't like you. There are people in the world who seem to be pretty perfect, have unbelievable lives, are a nice human being, but there are still people that hate them. I'm talking about Dwayne Johnson, Jesus, God for God's sake. But that's okay, because who gives a shit? You cannot control everyone's opinion of you. There are gonna be people that don't like you, but what you can control is what you decide to do with that fact. You can either let it affect you, or you can brush it off and continue living your best life. So when you feel shameful, embarrassed, inferior, try to remind yourself in your head that you have a choice of how this emotion affects you and how you can decide to move forward in a positive way. And that means that people's negative opinions of you don't affect you as much because your internal environment is strong and resistant to change. Number two is that you have to create the main character mindset. It's a bit of a meme at this point, but I think it's definitely necessary, right? You are the main character of your story. You are the hero in your life. You see life from your perspective and no one else's. So you're the main character. This does not mean that we neglect others because the side characters in our life, our friends and family, are some of the most important parts of our existence, okay? But what it does does mean is that everyone else, all the strangers and acquaintances, those NPCs that play no role in your game, they're just background characters, their opinions don't matter. You don't have to give any shits because they're not part of your plot, they're not part of your storyline, they're not part of your purpose. They're just little statistics that live in the background of your video game called life. And as abstract as it sounds, this is a way that I live my life. When I look at strangers and acquaintances, to me, a lot of them are just NPCs. When I'm out in public doing whatever I'm doing, a lot of the time I can look around and just think, is anyone even real here? Everyone has the same facial expression, the same behavior, same thought patterns. Everyone's just like an NPC, living out the same program every single day. And when you see them like that, would you actually give a shit what they think of you? It wouldn't be too far out of the question to start to believe that your life's a video game and you're the main character and all the strangers and acquaintances are just NPCs. And if this theory is utter bollocks and has no weight to it, you still benefit from believing it because you'll go out in the world and you'll be the main character, you'll be the hero, you'll make the right decisions, you'll be authentic, you'll love your life and you will give less of a shit what the little unimportant people in your life think of you. Now the third factor of this optimal mindset is that you can actually improve the way you conduct yourself in the world so that people's opinions of you are more positive. We're gonna do a visualization. So imagine that you see someone in public that you've never seen before, but they are dressing well, they're standing up straight, they're walking with confidence, they're smiling at people. You can tell they're thinking positively. They're focused on what they have to do that day and you can just see a little glimmer in their eye that they're just enjoying their life. You're likely to think, that guy's pretty cool. He lives a cool life. I wanna be his mate. So now imagine that you go out into your life and you are that person. You walk around positively, shoulders back, you know, standing tall, chest out, walking confident, smiling at people, asking them if they're all right. You got a smiley face on as you're walking around, thinking positive things about everyone in your life and the things that you do. People will like you more. You will give out a positive vibration in the world. People will feel that. 
and they will be attracted towards you because you have that positive energy, that positive vibe, and they will want to be around you. They'll want to think positive like you. And you might say this kind of behavior is impossible, unrealistic to just do, just decide in this moment. But I would say the contrary because you can consciously make a decision to smile and appreciate the nice sky today and stand up straight, work on your posture. Those things can happen. Yes, it won't happen overnight, but if you stick to it over multiple days, weeks, months, eventually you will be a more confident individual conducting yourself in the world in a more serious, responsible, positive way. And that's what people respect, man. You enter a room, your body language matters. People will appreciate the fact that you're there looking like you're loving life and you are putting out a positive vibe to the world. And that's likely to make people's opinions more positive of you from first impressions as first impressions are absolutely essential. Now enough of this waffle, this theory, let's put it into practice. I'm gonna go out there and scare the shit out of myself and put myself in front of lots and lots of people. So without further ado, come with me, let's do it. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out the rest of my content. I'm glad you've joined me. I'll be back next time. But until then, be an anomaly.